Hey everybody, it's Eric at Learn Max again, and I'm here with another Synth in Minutes, or Max in Minutes. You guys will remember from last time we have our simple synth at this point. It has an envelope, has a basic filter, um, but it doesn't have a heck of a lot of variety to its tone. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use what we learned about the ADSR, and we're going to use that to create a dynamic filter. So, okay, the first thing we do, we make a copy of the filter, excuse me, make a copy of the AADSR like I just did, and now we're going to have a way to trigger it from the keyboard. We only want it to trigger on note on, uh, and we don't want to, you know, bother having it turn off at the, the note off uh, unnecessarily. So here's what I'm doing. I'm creating a trigger that's going to use the uh, frequency that we normally just sent right into there. I'm going to send it into this multiplier, which is basically going to be triggered by, again, the keyboard, the velocity of the keyboard. So we're going to maintain a little bit of the velocity sensitivity to this too. All right, let me move this out of the way. And okay, so the velocity triggers that. Um, we have the frequency going in, then we feed the frequency into the ADSR and the output over to the filter, to the frequency control. So listen to this. Oh, nothing yet. Turn up to sustain. We're starting to get some tone. There we go. Now, as we play with the filter, you can hear the frequency kind of sweeping up and down. There we go. Now we're getting some nice wah, and it's got a real nice feel to it. That's some, some nice uh, uh, harmonic texture in there. So there we go, uh, about a minute's worth of work, and we learned something uh, really dynamic. Uh, we can Now our mono synth is really kind of taking shape. Uh, in the next couple of lessons, we're going to start looking at um, some more advanced features, specifically polyphony. That's going to be a big one, so don't miss that. Subscribe and return here to Learn Max.